Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the video. What if you guys today is another division video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest and easiest way to farm 268 gear, 229 weapons, level 32 weapon mods, and even just gear mods in general. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you have a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. So before I actually do get into this, I just want to remind you guys that you must have a decent build and your team overall must have a decent build in order to do this. You can't just go in this with a really low DPS or really low skill power or anything like that. All four of you have to have a decent build build in order to survive in order to do this uh, pretty quickly. So just keep that in the back of your mind. If you do this with your friends or someone else and you don't complete it or it takes forever, it's because your build is probably not good enough uh, in order to farm this really, really quick. So just keep that in mind once again. But anyways, as you guys can see from the gameplay, I'm talking about the new incursion, specifically the four different bosses that spawn where I am right now. This is by far the best way to farm 268 gear, 229 weapons, even level 32 mods for your character because you are guaranteed four, even sometimes five or six drops just from completing this one part. To be honest, the first time you do this, it's not the easiest thing because you have to know which enemies to kill first and how fast you have to actually kill them. But if you get on top of this box, you can avoid the cars as you guys probably already know because it's been out forever. So if you get on this box, you can literally avoid the cars and just shoot the enemies. The one thing you want to make sure you have is a lot of dps you want to kill these enemies as fast as possible not because you want to collect the loot as fast as possible well you want to kill them as fast as possible because if you don't you're going to get swarmed and it really really sucks you want to focus on the two flamethrower guys first one of them spawns in the back of you and the other one spawns to like the far left side so you definitely want to focus on those flamethrower dudes first and you definitely want one person to run immune station so you don't get burned by the flames and even if they throw gas at you you don't get affected uh, because you have the immune station down. In my opinion, that's one of the major keys you have to do in order to beat this pretty quickly. I think we did this in about four and a half, maybe five minutes. So in five minutes, you're guaranteed four plus 268 to 29 drops really, really easily. So the way you actually farm this is pretty easy. So what you want to do is obviously kill the four bosses, get your loot, get whatever it drops for you. Then you want to die out by one of the enemies. Just make sure you have one enemy left so he can kill you or whatever. And then once he kills you, you can teleport out and replay the entire mission. Like I said, it's going to be kind of annoying because you have to start all the way from the beginning. But to be honest, the first part only takes about 3-4 minutes and this part takes another 4 minutes. So in about 10 minutes, you are guaranteed 268 and 229 as long as you do this on heroic mode. But yeah, if you and your friends have a decent build, I would strongly recommend doing this. This is one of the easiest ways to farm this. And like I said, in about 10 minutes, you're guaranteed all this different stuff. Instead of going in the dark zone, instead of doing underground, you could just farm this with your friends or even with randoms. Uh, you know, as long as they know you are trying to farm this. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you have a like. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any troubles or any questions with this. I answer all my comments. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.